Life is beautiful. Only I'm kind of hungry. Oh, I've got an idea. Yeah! What's up, Sammy? Could you get me some Nutella? Oh, I thought something had happened. Here you go, Your Majesty. Thank you, Sue. You're the best. True. Now, can I get back to my business? Yeah, although we do have some chips left, don't we? All right, I got the hint. Mmm, now I'm almost happy. Almost? What do you mean? Well, if you could give me a glass of water, too. Ugh, come on, Sammy. You're the laziest slime on the planet. Go to the kitchen yourself. Wait for it. Wait for it. Here's an idea. We'll make one thing that will let us get water without getting off the couch. Follow me, Sue. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our show! Today, you're going to witness the creation of a unique invention! A water cooler made of... Uh... All kinds of useless stuff! Uh, my assistant, Susie, here, will demonstrate it to you! No way, Mr. Host, sir! You tell it all to the very end! Okay... You'll need a chip pan... And an empty toothpaste tube... What? A whole tube? Uh-huh. You really got me there, Assistant Sue. So far, we only need the cap. As for what we're going to do with the tube, it will be a surprise! Hi, everyone! I almost forgot to say hello. By the way, what I'm circling here now will be a little valve on our machine. To tell you the truth, Sue keeps forgetting stuff. Hey, that hurts my feelings. When did I ever forget something? Uh, let me think. That A, you forgot to feed Fluffy, forgot to call Samantha, forgot to... Wait! I forgot to tell the guys that they should be careful when dealing with sharp objects. Oh, come on, Sammy. We can all be forgetful at times. Now we'll have to do some drawing. We'll mark a spot here for a vessel with water. Personally, I generally don't forget anything. <laughs> right, because you're a super slime with a super memory. By the way, what's that smell? It smells like something's burning. Oh, no! My cookies! Soldier happens to everyone. In the meantime, we'll cut a really big hole in the can. By the way, guys, don't be shy to ask adults for help when working with a cutter. Yes! I didn't forget to mention it. <gasps> I can't believe it! I forgot that I was making cookies in the kitchen! They're ruined! Don't worry so much, Sammy. It can happen to anyone. Something that funny? I'm not so sure. Of course, I'll prove it to you, and we're all done here. Guys, help Sam remember. He needs to cheer up. Comment and tell me about the times you forgot something. Let's keep going. We need to color our can white with the help of this spray paint. You've got to be careful with this paint. Make sure the table is well protected against the paint. There. It's true art. It's gonna be so monochrome and boring. Oh, you Sammy, you've always been into bright details. I have no idea, Sue. How could you possibly think so? <laughs> you're not a slime, you're a walking celebration. No, you're a party monster. I am a slimester. We'll leave the can to dry now. As for you, Mr. Uh... Slimester. Mr. Sam Slimester, please. <laughs> yes, right. You, Mr. Slimester. Think about how we can decorate our cooler. With pleasure. And now it's toothpaste time! Right. Thank you, Sammy. Here we go. You know what to do. Yes, Captain! That was fast. Thank you for cleaning it for me, Sammy. You are always welcome, Sue. Now we're going to make a valve for our dispenser. We'll make a cut here and there. Nice! Oh, oh, I love all kinds of valves, wheels, and gears. Last time I was this happy, we were making our own safe. Does anyone remember that video? Comment and tell me! The video with the safe? Oh, that's the one where you mixed up the letters and numbers. No, not that! Come on now, Sammy. I'm telling you, everyone can be forgetful at times. Okay, Sue, I'll try to get used to this idea. Although it won't be easy. Way to go, Sammy. Here's our jar. Mind you guys, it's important to find the center of the lid. Now we need to take our lid off. We don't need this insert, so here's a life hack of how to take it out. Bye-bye. <laughs> hey, be careful! Sorry, Sam, I got carried away a little. <laughs> Remember I told you that it's crucial to find the center? 
It's for drawing two circles in the center of the lid. These circles will turn into holes for straws five millimeters each. Be careful, Sue. Those scissors are very sharp. And remember, I'm always ready to take over the most dangerous kind of work. Thank you, my friend. I really appreciate it. Uh, not the most boring kind. <laughs> <laughs> I don't doubt it. Just a sec. Here's our straw. It's in place now. The lid should be in the middle of the straw. It's important. Time for the first fitting. It almost looks ready! I know what you mean. The straw fits the dispenser perfectly. So we'll secure the result with glue. By the way, Sue, what would you like to pour into the dispenser? Oh, I'd pour fresh water with mint and lemon into it. Mmm, delicious. What? Doesn't taste that good though. What? Why not? Water with mint and lemon is so refreshing in the summer, especially when it's hot. Also, let's be honest, it's much healthier than any kind of soda. Huh, refreshing. Eh, it's kind of healthy too. I think your suggestion is worth considering, Sue. Uh huh. Ready. You know what? We don't need this. There you go, Sue. Let's hurry up and finish our crap. To see the results. I hear you, Sammy. We still have the final touch to add, though. One. And two. Huh. I have to say that the stickers make it clear which way to turn the valve to get the water going. And I love that! Well, Sammy, are you ready to try the most delicious water? Not only is it delicious, it's pretty, too. And it's healthy, as I've already mentioned. Just the right kind of refreshment for summer. Only, let's test our cooler the simple way. You mean without ladies and gentlemen? Yes, exactly, without that. Oh, I'm not sure I can resist this crap, it's too good! <sighs> well then go, Sammy. Ladies and gentlemen, let me present this shockingly refreshing dispenser by Sue and Samster Company. Sue and Samster? Who would call a company that? It's working! It's amazing! No, it's fantastic! There! We can try it already! Have some, Sammy! Uh, it's fantastic! So refreshing! I agree! Thank you for being with us today, guys! See you next time! Give a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and comment and tell us what drink you'd pour in your dispenser! Bye, everyone! The valiant traveler was climbing the mountain! Despite the strong wind, which almost blew him away from the cliff, Sam was moving on! Hey! What's wrong? Sue, where's the wind? I'm tired of blowing, Sam. Maybe it's enough for today. No way! Yesterday we were playing your games all day long. Today we're playing mine. Come on, blow! Despite the strong wind, which almost blew the traveler away. Hell, oh, for crying out loud. I'm thirsty. My throat is dry because of your wind. Oh, maybe we can make a fan? That's a good idea. What are we gonna make it out of? These cans. I've saved lots of them. <laughs> then let's get started! Hi, guys! Do you know what we're gonna do today? We are gonna make a fan from drink cans! Hi, everyone! Let's start with removing the upper part of the can. How long should we rub it? Hmm, a day or two? Even three if we make lunch breaks. What? We don't have that much time, so that's too long. <laughs> Sam, I'm just kidding. It's ready. See how it rubbed off? We just need to push it. Phew. Don't joke around. Oh, come on. When you start joking around with me, you're just unstoppable. Now we can cut the can in half. You have to be very careful while working with the cutter. The can's edges are sharp, too, so you better ask an adult to help you with this crap. Sam's right. Let's cut it with scissors. And even it out a little. 
Approximately one-third of the can should remain. <laughs> this way we'll use all the cans! Sammy! But it will look beautiful! I know, I know. So, what to do, Wang? No, oh, this? This will be the hole for the motor. Cool! So are we done? Then I'll go fetch my climbing equipment! Ah! Uh, Sam, I'm just showing the motor we'll need and the way it has to be inserted. Uh, judging by the noise, Sam is very enthusiastic about this mountaineering thing. I'm ready. Wait, it isn't ready yet? Why are you going so... Uh, Sammy, come on. We've just started making the fan. We couldn't finish it so fast. Uh, then why didn't you stop me? You didn't even listen to me and ran away for the equipment. Because I want to be the first to climb this mountain. What is it made of? Clothes and a blanket. My clothes, by the way. I don't have lots of clothes, you know. And they are small. And look how many you have! Yeah, I've got a lot. You're right. Anyway, now we need to connect two parts in one. Yep, to make it work, you have to cut the can so it gets smaller in the diameter. Right you are. But we're short on time since you're in a rush. That's why… Oh. <laughs> one part of the fan is ready. Awesome! But what is this thing anyway? This will be the upper part of the fan. We'll put the motor here. By the way, something interesting is coming. We're going to make the blades! Oh, interesting. But it's just a piece of cardboard. Right, but soon it will turn into real blades. Oh, this sounds intriguing. I guess you're applying too much glue. Then where are you gonna put it? <laughs> we won't glue it anywhere for now. We need the glue to make the blades become solid and hold its shape. Now we must wait until the glue sets. But I'm going to blow hard on it since I've got so much training from you. See? My games even help us with crafts. Yeah, sure. Tell this to my cheeks. Ugh. <sighs> now let's glue the fastening and attach it to the motor. And our fan will be ready! Not yet. Sammy, be so kind and cut four thin strips out of the can. No problem. Done! Awesome! And I found a circle like this. Let's glue the strips on it crisscross. All right. Do not rush. You should get a snowflake like this. Is that because this fan will blow so hard that it'll turn you into a snowflake in a matter of seconds? <laughs> exactly! This fan is for a real rock climber who's not afraid of hardships and cold. Yeah, that's about me. Then don't forget to dress up warmer when you climb this mountain once again. Now, carefully put the grid on the can. Press it with the ring. And glue! Be careful not to make a mess. It looks quite nice. I'm doing my best for you. Let's cut off the extra parts. Be careful with the scissors. So cool! I hope that the rest will be just as awesome! Do you still doubt it? Of course it's gonna be super cool! To make the base, we need pieces like these. Hmm. Are they gonna be made of paper? Wrong guess. They're just templates. Actually, we'll make the base out of a soda can. Then. I attach the template on a can piece, and now… We'll cut it out, right? <laughs> sure. But first, we transfer the pattern right onto the can so it's easier to cut out. Isn't it just easier to cut it? We can make a mistake, or the pattern can fall off. Then the result will be crooked and ugly. Oh, that's a strong argument. Then I'll try to cut other parts while you mess around with this one. And not even out of breath. Wow, you did great! You cut them so nicely! Awesome job! Oh well, yeah, that's me. Well, shall we start assembling the base? Don't rush! We need to bend the edges so the pieces tightly adjoin each other. Uh, so long! Alright, I get it. I'll do the same with the rest. I'm off! Da -da 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 -da. So, what is it? We're making a fan, not a fire 
there with storage. <laughs> Sammy, you're funny. These are the stiffening ribs. They'll prevent bending of the pieces. Oh, should I do it the same way? Uh, check where they're needed and glue accordingly. Okay. What, have you finished already? It's easy peasy, lemon squeezy, a bend here, glue there, and that's it. Sammy, you keep surprising me. <laughs> that's nothing. Soon the whole world will admire the great traveler who'll come through that mountain. <laughs> sure they will. You kind of infected me with your enthusiasm. I think I'm gonna follow you to the top. <laughs> what do you say? Where can we find a mountain that you can climb? You're quite big. Sam! Oops, I just meant that the pile of clothes there is small and you're just normal. <laughs> anyway, what do we need to do next? We're going to work with this part. And it is? The fan's leg. We need to refine it. I guess we'll need them now. Thanks. We have to cut out the notch for the upper part of the fan. Here we go. Then, thread the wires through the hole and attach to the upper part of the fan. Perfect! Spare no glue. We need to fix it better. Of course. It should not break even if it falls from the cliff. <gasps> I just had a thought. What's the energy source of our fan? Oh, good question. Oh, bring me the USB cable from the old charger. On my way! Sam, how much longer? Will this work? We wanted to use it somewhere, buffed it out, and left it. Awesome! That's exactly what we need! Take the buffed wires and put it through this hole. And now, it's soldering time! Guys! The soldering iron is a dangerous tool and you can easily get burned! Don't hesitate to ask an adult for help when soldering the wires! That's right, Sammy. You really have to be careful with it. By the way, try to solder the wires according to their color so you don't get confused. Now, let's glue the bottom to protect the whole construction. And we're at the finish line! Yay! Hooray! We did it! Phew! I'm gonna fetch my equipment! While Sam's looking for his stuff, let's test our fan. The valiant traveler was climbing the mountain. So, turn it on! Done! Despite the strong wind which almost blew, so something's wrong, this wind is too strong! So, ah! Sam? Sam, wake up! Are you frozen? Let's go play your game about the traveler. Uh, so I think I'm done for today. I'll go have some rest. Oh, come on! Why did we make the fan then? Okay. Guys, subscribe to our channel. Bye-bye! Yes, yes. And give a thumbs up. <laughs> Bye.